What I found interesting this week um, was all the different points about assessment and then in particular um, standardized testing. So I have some personal feelings about standardized testing, although it is a good way to collect student data. Um, I think that giving all of the students the same test and grading on the same scale is a great idea. However, I feel like even though students are given the same test or an equal test, um, they don't all have the same background. Um, and not all students are good test takers either. Um, my personal connection with this would be I-step testing. Um, I believe that I-step testing for me started in about second or third grade and continued through sophomore year of high school. Um, and I remember starting in elementary school, um, there would be PSAs around the time of I-step testing um, that would encourage everyone to get a good night's sleep and eat a filling a nutritional breakfast, um, you know, that'll get you the brain power to get through the test. And this stuck out to me as a disadvantage already for some students because not all students have access to, you know, a comfortable place to get a good night's sleep or they don't have access to a big filling nutritional breakfast. So I feel like these students are already put at a disadvantage. So even though all students are taking the same test and being graded on the same scale, um, some students are pretty much set up to do worse than others um, because they may lack the nutritional breakfast or the good night's sleep or they just may not be um, as good at taking tests as others. Um, I remember that for me, I-step testing was always a very high stakes situation um, and that could be a very toxic environment for some students um, who may feel super stressed out about the test and that could lead to um, poor scores on the tests. And I specifically remember that if you failed I-STEP your sophomore year, you would have to retake it junior year and they'd announce your name over the intercom in the school and everyone knew what it was for. And so I feel like that was just a sense of embarrassment and I think that some standardized tests can be a sense of embarrassment for students who just feel that they won't perform as well on it as others. Um, so ultimately, I'm not the biggest fan of standardized testing, although I know that it can hold some um, important data. Um, I like stuff like different assessments, such as like formal or informal assessments, as I think that these are a better and more accurate way to gather data about students and their performances. So um, something that stuck out to me was the mean, median, and mode, and how this can be used to determine um, what needs to be done next. So for example, if the mean or the average score for your class is below what you want it to be, it would make sense to kind of take a time out and continue going over that content before introducing new content so that you avoid cognitive overload and stressing students out even more um, so that they're more likely to perform well on assessments. Um, and then median is like the middle score between the lowest and the highest score, so that kind of shows you the middle ground of student performance. Um, and then the mode is like the most occurring score, so like how um, often a score is seen. So obviously if your most common score is a low score, you may need to take extra time and extra instruction um, in your class. And then I also think this data is helpful um, to gather from assessments because um, it can help educators determine what, the need, what they need to be doing next instructionally for these students. Um, if they're falling behind the mean score, they may need some extra help, but if they're really excelling, they could be put into some sort of accelerated program. So I think that's a good way for educators to determine how students are doing. Um, and I think that is a better way to do that than some standardized tests because it kind of evens the playing field.